Hey guys, what's up? Uh, DL and Jared again, checking out uh, Radiation Island this time, which is just ripping up the charts. Um, so this is sure a is. brand new install, uh, first launch. So this is the little intro you get, which kind of sets the scene here. So, radiation is happening. Radiation is happening. Uh, you're on a ship which may or may not have been used in their other games. Yeah. <laughs> like things are going bad. This may or may not be the island from Lost. Yeah. <laughs> and this is supposed to happen, right? It's not the game glitching out. <laughs> yeah, no, this is, this is just what happens at the beginning. So we got bears, we got zombies, we got a beach. And, a blinking, and radiation a ship. cloud. All right, well, uh, lens flare. So uh, this is a, a, a dual stick sort of controlly thing. Mm -hmm. um, what does it want me to specifically do? Okay, walking towards the object. <coughs> Pineapple. And, all right, so we have two primary status indicators that we need to watch out for: health and hunger. Uh, we're hungry, so um, when our hunger is high, it'll slowly damage our health, uh, and a full belly will improve it. So. It's kind of uh, one of these survival games where you actually have to worry about things like that, which, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Some people just hate hunger in games like this, but yeah, I don't I, know. I think it's kind of neat. You, you definitely, like, this This game, as odd as, I think, there's a, I think there's a niche of people that are into this sort of thing. That's definitely not for everyone. Yeah. So uh, it's got a full kind of crafting system here. So right now it's walking me through how to make a stone axe. Um... Just craft that, tap outside to close it, and then it's telling me about the quick bar here. So we bring the axe down to quick bar, close the inventory, and then equip the axe. So the action button's on the other side of the screen. Um, that's how we swing our axe around. It's all a little Minecrafty, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and see, you notice my hunger is uh, kind of going up, I guess, or I guess I don't know what would be more accurate to say. I think that's your it's fullness not. depleting is My what I would say. My fullness is depleting, yeah. Your hunger rising? I don't know. I guess you could go either way. So, walking towards this neon green glowy tree. <laughs> Use your axe to swing at the tree. The collected will be put in your inventory. Alright. Alright, so an important part of the game is using your notebook. Uh, it's like on this position in the top right corner. So, this is kind of where I hit my first, like, oh wow, this game is a little bit more than I feel like playing right now when I was uh -huh. when I first downloaded this. Yeah. Because uh, there is a lot going on here. And yeah. the tutorial just kind of like throws it all at you. So, you know, here's our stats. Um, here's the whole uh, map of the island and things like that. We can flip through this to zoom in and out. So settings. What you're saying is don't don't fire this one up if you're in line at Starbucks. Yeah, wait till you like get if, home and have some time to focus. <laughs> yeah, like if you're just looking for a quick fix game, this is this is not the one for you. But uh, this is a, I, I really like when games like so. This is a game with depth, obviously. Um, yeah. And I really like when they implement this style of iCloud kind of stuff because yes. there's nothing that I hate more than um, thinking that your data is essentially like trapped inside of a game, right? Yeah. Uh, so with this, I can push my save up to iCloud and then say if I want to play on my iPhone, I grab my iPhone and I pull that data down and then mm -hmm. I'm fully in charge of, of managing that back and forth the entire time. So yeah. it's so much better. It I can't sucks even... when, it's, uh, when it's automatic and it accidentally overwrites your save or something like that and yeah. it's just a mess. This is the way to do it. This is totally the way to do it. All right, so closing in our notebook. Uh, let's look at the mining tips. So we can use our axe to break simple rocks and get their resources. <coughs> Animals and other beings roam around the island. Up on the top of the screen will indicate their presence around you. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a rabbit. Let's uh, axe it. Well, you let it get away. All right, so. Uh, this is kind of where the game kind of sort of leaves leaves you here. Is uh, three distinct game modes here. So 
Um, depending on how you want to play this game, you can just choose exploration, which is kind of like Minecraft creative mode, basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like you can't get hurt, and animals, you know, aren't scared of you and don't attack you, and you just kind of wander around. Mm -hmm. uh, adventure mode, which is you know what they say is the intended experience. Uh, so there's eating, survival, animals, zombies, and and all that kind of stuff. And then survival is like hardcore, hardcore, like permadeath, inventory, loss, and um, yeah, you know, resources are lots of good. So basically, like hardcore mode and Fallout and things like that. Right. So uh, let's just start off with uh, adventure mode here and see if we can't like. So. Here's my here's always my problem with these kind of games. It's like they just mm -hmm. kind of throw you in here, right? So now what do mm -hmm. we do? Well, if if Minecraft has taught us anything, you better build a shelter. I don't know how to do that. So here's this creepy thing that It's like a weird scale map. <laughs> Let's see if we got any animals near us. I guess that rabbit is the the best bet, huh? Do you think if there was like an actual, some sort of nuclear fallout or some sort of zombie apocalypse that uh, that the people that are super good at Minecraft would have a better chance at surviving than just your average person? No. Absolutely not. You don't think so? No. Do you, like, you don't think you... Survival you, you, skills and Minecraft skills are, are not... No, you, you hack away at a tree until it turns into a bunch of blocks of wood, and then you can make yes. whatever you need from that, and yeah... That's a fast rabbit. No, this. <laughs> is something hurting you? What is the arrow pointing at? The waypoint. I think it's pointing me towards aggressive animals. Maybe where did the rabbit go? Oh, there we go. All right, so the rabbit dropped a chicken leg. <laughs> oh, we got holes. Oh, don't don't eat you. Don't worry. Wolf Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, this this game is basically a, a wolf killing simulator. Yeah. <laughs> so if you hate wolves, they take a tumble when they go down. <laughs> <you're a> jerk. <laughs> Notice my ham meter. My ham yeah. meter is going down as I slay wolves. Right. Your ham is going ham. So uh, you can also, I think you can, yeah, double tap to move there's a tap to move thing i don't remember how you, oh yeah just tap and your dude moves somewhere so that's it's kind of nicer than go uh you should go up get on top of mountain so we can get a nice view of the the land all right let's see what we can do here <clears throat> so the only thing that's a little annoying about the the tap to move system is like if you if you do anything on to change your controls around or your view around or anything like that it kind of cancels your your movement so like what i think would be the ideal solution here is like tap to move but also be able to like you know like look over here do stuff while walking. you're still walking yeah yeah that's kind of what um the deus ex game on ios does that where you can be like go here and then while you're going there you can move and shoot or you know aim and shoot and do all this stuff at the same time it was very handy um for a touch control game Alright, so we are. Let's look back to right. the beach. So, the scale of this game is really cool, um, but that comes at a cost uh, mm -hmm. because the game uses just a stupid amount of battery. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, people are. Let's see how far away I can tap to move. So, like, let's see. What is growling at me? Something is eating you, probably. Let's go see if I can tap. So I tapped, like, the other side of the mountain here. So let's see if Man. my dude will make it all the way there himself. The visuals in this game are so good, though. Like, wow. The lighting and stuff, like... Well, I guess there's a limit as to how far your auto-move will go. I can't just tap the other side of the island, but... Hey, well, we got some junk in our inventory. I wonder what I can craft, if anything. I can make eight hmm. bundles of sticks. That's, that's <laughs> cool, I guess. <laughs> Nothing says fun like a bundle of sticks. <laughs> uh, my inventory, I have meat, leather, coconuts. Oh, I can eat mm. these coconuts. Ham and pineapple together is a good combination. Can I, uh, you can make a Hawaiian pizza. Combine, yeah. <laughs> that, see, if I was making this game, that would be what the crafting situation That would be an option. <laughs> that would be the option. Like, Alright, well, you have ham, uh... You have ham, pineapple, and pizza. Wolf. <laughs> pineapple. 
I'm gonna need to uh, to make another axe pretty soon though. Let me see if I should get more wood. Oh, oh your broke. axe died. Uh, Can you karate chop it? Let's see. Yeah, I make making some stick bundles, huh? Yes. So here we go. We have another another stone. We need axe. to get more rocks. Oh, I equipped it. Alright, cool. I just dropped something in accident. Yeah, I don't know where I get more rocks from. I don't know. Is there a quarry? At the ground. Actually, the ground does nothing. What's a uh, upper left corner that, like, death paw? What's that do? That is the tracking of nearby animals. Oh. So it's showing mm -hmm. me this wolf that's coming after me. Didn't this dude learn? Dang, that wolf is committed to eating you. Mountaintop. It's gonna climb this whole mountain. <laughs> Come on, buddy. What are you nice giving up? stuck. Giving up now? Now he's easy pickings. Whoa. <laughs> and wolf's dead. And he's gonna roll down the mountain. I think I'm, I think I'm bleeding. Are you dying? What's the bloody knife? Icon mean. Uh, I think I'm bleeding. Probably uh -oh. from wolf attack. Oh, yeah, this, you uh, are bleeding. Oh, yeah, here we go. Some harvesting rock. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> this game's rad. It's Radiation Island. So I don't know how I, I presumably need to make bandages to solve my bleeding issue. Let's go to this hut over here if we can make it there without dying. Oh, oh, I fell. What? <laughs> you just died? Oh. So. Wow, is this the afterlife? Uh. Oh, and you start back on the beach, huh? I think so. Here, let's let's look in one of these houses and see what we can find. Okay. Yeah. Breaking and entering is always fun to do when you're trapped on an island. So this game is it's a lot like um, a lot like Minecraft, and it's hard to really do a good video of because it's like. Yeah, the amount of depth in a game like this just it, it, there's no way we can do it justice in uh, you know like a, well, a ten minute little. That's why people make their livings thing. off of making like daily Minecraft videos and stuff. Oh, hey, here you we just go. Do so many things. We got a radiation suit. Oh neat. And hey. Mushrooms. Should have went there in the first place. It's a medicine. Here, that probably would have helped my bleeding issues. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have a really small inventory. Yeah, I wonder if I can improve that somehow. Alright, so I was able to Ooh. loot that. Jump. So you just robbed somebody of their medicine. Oh, cool. So we found a, a little thing. I guess Sloppy this is handwriting. Telling me to go somewhere? Craft and place a storage case. Oh, that would be helpful. Storage case. Got the pickaxe, use the pickaxe to mine rocks, got the torch. Man, so much stuff to do. Yeah, so if you're the kind of person that uh, <clears throat> likes, you know, you complain about depth of games on the App Store or whatever else, like this definitely seems like a solid way to spend some money. I think it's and, like five bucks, right? Uh, five, let's, no, it's two ninety nine. What? Right? Cheap. Um, maybe that's a sale price for now, but anyway. Um, we were just talking about this before we started recording, but this this sucker's uh, number three overall in the U.S. App Store, paid games, That's or awesome. paid all apps. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, you say? seriously. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm just kind of kind of dicking around in this so people can see, uh, you know, how the game works and controls and stuff like that. I'm, you know, don't really getting involved in the crafting system is kind of outside of the scope of what I was. <laughs> Maybe we'll do another there. video someday. But yeah, if you uh, if you have three dollars, this is probably how you should spend it. So three definitely bucks. check out Dang. Radiation Island because it's really cool. 